Well, this is Sark Folk Festival 2013, two years after Ohuli and Tido debuted at the festival. And I must admit, having just seen your set, I was pretty blown away because it's you're a very different duo, dynamic duo, to what you were back then. It's like, come on, you know, I thought you were up there then, it's now up there somewhere. And it's there's a real connection there. There's some, I mean, with the Fragile, that album, there's some fantastic new material, which you were saying was the first time you've actually got your own material, you know, that you've written together. And it's like it's all added up to something quite fantastic. You must be quite chuffed with it, I'd say. We are. We're over the moon, actually. We've, we, the Fragile, the, we just absolutely loved making the album. We had such a good time. And with, with Silent June, we were both a bit sort of green at the time. But we're a bit wet round the ears. But with the Fragile, we felt a little bit more confident. And uh, we've just kind of worked on it and worked we've worked so hard we've been rehearsing a lot and we've done loads of gigs and uh, we just feel like we're getting to a point where we just enjoy it and we've got much more confidence than we had a couple of years ago Absolutely. and we're just loving it yeah we are really loving it it feels really nice to come back to Sark actually after two years and um, with more confidence having done a lot of gigs and kind of really learnt our craft together um, and uh, they were so welcoming last time that we felt a little bit like gosh can we can we get any better than the last time we were here because yeah. the weather was perfect uh, we had a great gig last time. We received a Spiral Earth Award at the last one we on did. stage. Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. a bit of a highlight. Yeah, which we've now got on our... Yeah, we've, we've put it somewhere. On the, the cold in skull. The <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, they put us on the different stage this time. Um, and uh, it, was, uh, it was just lovely. We saw people coming in throughout the gig rather than leaving, which is always good. Yeah, and, uh, and there was a really, really good atmosphere. And I think the new songs, you know, people seem to just be very receptive to them. So it were ace. We right enjoyed it, Ian. And you've got that... There's a little bit of magic there between you both that, you know, any duo has to have. But you've also got that thing where you do lots of different things. You know, you're not just piano and vocals or recording, you, you know, an a cappella, you do that whole lot. Is there, on the new album, is going to be more of that? Well, the new album's very, very exciting. We're going in a, a slightly different direction. And um, we're recording... Jazz funk? Jazz funk, yeah, <laughs> and a bit of heavy jazz. metal, yeah. But it's, um, it's, it's, it's still self pen songs, uh, it's still thought-provoking, um, but it's kind of done in a different way, and we're in the middle of recording it at the moment. And uh, obviously, when we've uh, kind of finished it and we're, we're up for doing a bit more interviews, we'd love to talk to you about yeah. it and, and give you a copy of the album. But we're right excited, aren't we, Hyde, uh, at the moment? We are, yeah. It's going to be a very different third album. Because uh, we don't want to get, you know, people to get bored. So we've done something a bit different this time. I mean, I guess also as, you know, recording, performing, you're almost always an album ahead of where the audience is in a way, aren't you? It's weird actually because yeah. at the moment we've sung these songs so many times. We really have. Um, but we're not sick of them yet. I think... It, it's been actually really good to be able to do them over and over again and get better at it. Well, they develop, I think, I don't think, it's a bit like learning to drive a car. You don't really know what you're doing until you drive the car, until yeah. you've passed your test. And your songs develop live. You, you record them for the album and they're one thing, but the more you perform them, you find new things within the songs, new nuances and, you know, new things that... Um, so you come together and really sort of learn to love the songs and really enjoying performing the Fragile. But um, we actually started writing new songs just after the Fragile came out. So right. we've been working on new stuff for about 18 months now. So we're looking forward to getting something new out there. But those songs you've got, you know, they're still managing to... I mean, that song, Edith, yeah. that always brings a tear to my eye. I mean, I know it sounds a bit cheesy, just, but it does, you know, and yeah. you, you've... It always sounds a little bit different whenever you perform it, so oh. it's, it's, you know, they, they, they've still got a life, haven't they? Yeah, they have, and I think it's really important not to become so sort of up your own ass that you think, well, you've just got to do all the new ones because we're bored of the, of, you know, too old to dream. Actually, some of the songs from Silent June, this this sort of, the, the real kind of, the ones that people want to hear, um, Too Old to Dream about Edith, uh, One More Christmas about Christmas um, with my mum, um, Shelter Me Today, 
it's a song that seems to be almost like a they, they just seem to love it in Sark and Guernsey, yeah. you know, and it was just a flyaway song, like an alternative love song, you know, and we just sort of cracked it off really quickly. Um, but over here, they des they really want that song, Shelter Me, so, yeah, and you'd be a right miserable sod if you didn't do it, wouldn't you, yeah. you know? I mean, I hope that when you go and see the Rolling Stones, they do all their old the hits. classics and the hits. We're not exactly the Rolling Stones. I think I've nearly got as many wrinkles as Ronnie Wood, but not, um, quite. not quite. You've got a little way to go yet, oh, to be honest. Cool. Yeah, a couple of years maybe. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Well, it's fantastic to see you back here and it's, it's also great to see how excited the organisers were about having you back. You know, you, you did make a, a, you know, a, an impact then. It's, it's quite, Aww. you know, it's, it's great to see that, isn't it? Yeah, it is because we love this festival. We think it's a really great festival. You know, only a thousand people, so they're keeping it small, but they're getting really, really top quality acts. And they're also encouraging acts from Guernsey and Sark and this location, the weather, um, the beer, the cider, it's just wonderful. And every free artist, every artist getting a free tractor, I think is a great incentive. We, we're really happy yeah. with this yeah. one. We're just a little yeah. bit worried about how to get it home. Because we'll get the piano on it though, that's the well, only thing. We didn't upgrade on the... Um, They've got gaffer tape, so... Yeah, yeah. maybe. But I'm only allowed 20 kilograms. On. I'm only allowed 20 kilograms. <laughs> So it's lovely though. Actually, if you rode onto stage on this... On a tractor. That would make, make a bit yeah. of an entrance, wouldn't it? It would be, yeah. yeah. There's, you know, I'll throw that suggestion in there and you can see where that comes in your live act next year. Absolutely. Can what? we cut the interview? Like, <laughs> well, the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. the whole Thanks. thing. It's well, it's ridiculous. lovely to talk to you. And, and you it's, yeah, well, it's, it's great to see you back here. Oh, and it? you. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go and have a beer. Yay! Absolutely. <laughs> I've got one. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.